Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at King Charles's coronation, Biggest Secrets. Let's get right into it. The United Kingdom's monarchy will enter a new era with the coronation of King Charles III. This grand ceremony is steeped in medieval traditions and symbolism that have endured for over a millennium. However, this coronation will include modern updates and changes from his mother, Queen Elizabeth II's coronation 70 years ago. The ceremony will take place at Westminster Abbey and will be a more subdued event compared to the previous coronation. Despite the presence of royal families from other nations, heads of state, and most of Charles' family, the ceremony will feature new twists on tradition. King Charles III will wear the same vestments as Queen Elizabeth II, but other aspects of the ceremony will be different. Although Charles became King of Great Britain automatically upon the death of his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, on September 8th, he was only officially proclaimed monarch two days later in a televised accession ceremony. Although not required by law, a coronation is now planned to confirm Charles' role as head of the state and titular head of the Church of England. The coronation is a deeply religious and ceremonial event intended to demonstrate that the monarch's authority comes from God. The coronation will be conducted by the Archbishop of Canterbury, the spiritual leader of the Church of England. During the ceremony, Charles will receive the traditional symbols of the monarch, including the orb and scepter, and will be anointed with oil. He will then have the St. Edward's crown placed on his head, signifying his ascension to the throne. Camilla, Charles' wife, will also be crowned as Queen Consort. Although other European monarchies have done away with coronation ceremonies, the British monarchy continues to uphold this tradition. The coronation is an important symbol of the continuity and tradition of the monarchy, and it underscores the weighty responsibilities of the head of state. The coronation ceremony for King Charles III at Westminster Abbey will have several differences from his mother's coronation in 1953. Although much of the ceremony remains unchanged from the medieval period, there were some notable updates. For one, Charles' coronation will be shorter than Queen Elizabeth II's three-hour extravaganza, with fewer than 2,800 guests in attendance. In addition, Buddhist, Hindu, Jewish, Muslim, and Sikh religious leaders will be involved in the ceremony, reflecting Charles' desire to be the defender of faith rather than just the defender of the faith. Another change is the procession after the ceremony. Instead of the five-mile route taken by Elizabeth and Prince Philip in 1953, Charles and Camilla will travel 1.3 miles from Buckingham Palace to the Abbey in a more modern set of horse-drawn wheels. After the coronation, they will retrace the journey in the same 260-year-old carriage used in every coronation since 1831, which is known for its tough ride. One thing that remains the same is the significance of the coronation ceremony. This event confirms Charles' role as head of the state and the titular head of the Church of England, and it symbolizes the continuity and tradition of the monarchy. The guest list for King Charles III's coronation is expected to include a hundred heads of state and royalty from around the world, such as Japan's crown prince Akishino and his wife Kiko, and Spain's King Felipe VI and Queen Letizia. First Lady Jill Biden will represent the United States, but the president will not attend, continuing a streak of no U.S. presidents attending British royal coronations. Prince William, the heir to the throne, will kneel before his father and pledge his loyalty in the homage of royal blood. His young brother, Prince Harry, is not expected to participate in the ceremony due to the controversy surrounding his recent memoir, which made unflattering claims about the royal family. Harry's wife, Meghan, will also not attend and will instead stay home in California with their children. Prince Andrew, Charles' brother, will also not play a role in the ceremony due to his association with convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. Andrew gave up his royal duties and was stripped of military titles and patronages after revelations of his friendship with Epstein, and he recently settled a lawsuit with a woman who accused him of sexual abuse. The coronation comes just days before the first of Harry's lawsuits against the British tabloid press goes to trial, which could reveal more family secrets. In a hearing last week, Harry alleged that Buckingham Palace had an agreement with Rupert Murdoch's English newspapers to settle phone hacking allegations without a lawsuit, and that he was directed by palace staff to drop his litigation because his father wanted to curry favor with the press. As support for the monarchy weakens, the coronation provides an opportunity for King Charles III to seek and showcase public support. Crowds are expected to line the streets and stand outside Buckingham Palace to cheer on the new king. However, the coronation also raises questions about the necessity of the monarchy in modern times and whether Britain should become a republic with an elected head of state. Anti-monarchy protesters plan to chant, Not My King, as the royal procession passes by, but for many others, the coronation is an opportunity to celebrate being British and show support for the monarchy. The ceremony will feature military jets flying overhead, streaming plumes of smoke in the national colors, and as a reminder of Britain's historical power and influence. 
That's all for today, and we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one. Have a great night, and stay safe, everybody.